Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I have some more hidden features for you on the LG Aristo 2. Uh, the first one is called screen pinning and basically it'll allow you to pin an app to your screen so that if you ever let someone use your phone, you don't have to worry about them going through your phone and doing other things that you don't want them to do. For example, looking at your pictures or looking at your phone numbers or text messages. So to do this, settings, come to the upper right corner and click on the, the magnifying glass. And we're just gonna type in pin, P-I-N, and, or pinning. Man, for just typing the whole thing. Screen pin, there we go. All right, so screen pin, and we just wanna turn this on. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is, so this is kind of breaking it down for you. Pin a screen to keep the current screen in view until you unpin it. You can let others use that screen only and prevent an app from being closed. And this kind of shows you, there's actually a, a combination, combination of buttons you have to press in order for the screen pin to be disabled. So it says open screen you wanna pin, we're basically gonna to go to running apps, we pin it, and then after pin you can unpin to screen by touching, uh, so you have to touch this button and this button at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So let's say you wanna show someone a video on your phone. That's a pretty common thing, right? Go to YouTube, open it up. Let's click out of there and let's go to this video right here, okay? I'm just gonna pause it. Now I'm gonna tap the recent apps button right here and you're gonna have this little pin right here or as looks like a little tack, so, all right, let's see. No, I'm sorry, not the tack, it's down here. So we tap on this pin, pin this screen to only use this app. So now I'm gonna hit pin, and now the person is stuck in this app. If I hit the home button, it won't let you out. I can go back, I can go out of the video, but I can't close YouTube. I can't even hit this button to try to switch another app, okay? You can't even, you try to turn the phone off and turn it back on again, same thing, it takes you right back to that same app. So it's a really cool way to kind of protect your phone if you want to let somebody use it, but you just want to make sure they're not going through your stuff. And the way you disable it is pressing these two buttons at the same time. And it says screen pin, uh, uh, screen unpinned, and now you can go back home. So that's one little hidden feature right there. Again, we, you know, since situations come up, you have to pass your phone to someone and that's how you protect yourself. All right, our next hidden feature is gonna be, um, so it's sort of two things in one. The first thing is split screen, how to have two apps open at one time. So we're gonna do YouTube and uh, Google Chrome. So I'm gonna tap on YouTube and then I'm gonna hit the recent apps button and hit this little button right here next to the pin, okay? These two bars on top of each other. That's gonna enable the multi window. And now I can go through here and pick another app that I want to be at the bottom. So now I can have a video playing up here and I can still be scrolling through just so the sound isn't playing. So I could have a video playing up here and I could be on Google Chrome doing research or looking up news or whatever. So kind of cool. It also is supported in the landscape as well. So you can do it that way too. And that's just a really quick way on how you do uh, split screen. Now, the reason I said they're, they're basically one and the same is because they both use the recent apps button. So we're gonna have to tap this here and basically just swipe up to take it out of multi-window or out of that split screen. And now we can do what's called a quick app switch. So just by tapping the recent apps button twice, it will automatically jump to the last app that you used. So right now, just tap it twice. It went from YouTube to Google Chrome. And I can go back again. It also works if you're on the home screen and let's say you just closed an app and you went home. If we just tap that twice, it'll take you back to the last app that you used. So kind of a cool thing. It's a just a kind of a productivity thing allowing you to use your phone just a little bit quicker to switch between your apps. All right, our next hidden feature is gonna be um, a cool one for 
um, when you need to take notes really quickly, maybe somebody's telling you something important and you wanna make sure you jot it down, you can do this. Basically by double tapping on the volume up button right here, it'll automatically turn your phone on and it'll take you right to the uh, LG Note app. And I can take a quick note, you can hit the T if you wanna type text. Let's go ahead and agree, just do that the first time. And then you can also just hit the microphone on the keyboard and then it'll take the notes via dictation so I can just talk and the, no the notes will just populate the screen. So that's a really great thing. You could also be in a conversation with someone and maybe they're saying something important or something you wanna document. This is an easy way to have a, a, a record of the conversation and it's gonna type it out for you as well. So that's really cool. Tap that to stop. And you can also hit the pencil and then you can draw things as well. So you've got a couple of options there. Now this only works when the phone is off. So when the phone is off, volume up, just hit it twice. There we go. Hit it twice, it'll unlock and go right to the, the Note app. If the screen is unlocked and you try to tap it, it's not gonna do anything. So just quickly turn your screen off and then press it and then it'll go right to it, okay? All right, our next hidden feature it's going to be a really important feature, especially for Metro PCS phones and phones that have sort of a limited amount of storage. Um, it's called power cleaning. And basically we want to go to settings and under general, you're going to swipe down to smart cleaning. So power cleaning or smart cleaning. And this is sort of, this is something that as Samsung has actually done on their phones for a long time and now LG has finally added it. It basically helps you to optimize your phone, your storage, your memory. It helps to kind of clear out anything that's slowing your phone down. All you have to do is press the optimize phone button and it's gonna go through, it's gonna delete old files that maybe your phone has downloaded off the internet, like temporary files. There's a lot of stuff that just kind of stacks up in your phone over time and if you, usually you have to download a separate app in order to get it to clean your phone out. But now, LG has included it in the software. So um, you just go come in here, press optimize. It's gonna clear up some RAM space for you. It's gonna clear up internal storage for you and just make sure that your phone is running at the proper speed. And if anything is slowing it down, it'll tell you. It's also good to be able to go to your battery usage and see exactly what apps are draining your battery the fastest. In this case, it's just the screen, nothing else here. Um, you also have your shortcut here to battery saver mode. So if you know your battery is low and you need to have your phone on for a few more hours, definitely turn on the battery saver mode. And you have a test hardware button as well, which will allow you to test everything from your Wi-Fi to your, your light, to your gyroscope. Maybe something doesn't seem to be working properly, that's where you would go to test it. So um, I say it's a hidden feature because it's kind of buried in the settings and if you didn't know where it was and you didn't know it was there, you probably would never use it. So that's why we put that in our hidden feature category. Um, and our last hidden feature is sort of a hidden feature and it's just more of something that I think is an important tweak that you should make on your phone because you might be irritated by this little thing that irritates me, which is, um, so let's just tap here, I wanna bring up the keyboard. So when you type, the keyboard vibrates and it's a little irritating. So uh, the, little, the tip is just how to turn off that vibration so that you're able to like type and not have that annoyance in the background. If you like it, keep it on, but I don't really care for it myself. So settings wheel, go to more, and then just turn this off here. And then I would say turn on your pop-up key press. Now when you type, it's not gonna vibrate. It'll just make that sound. And if you wanna turn off the sound it makes when you tap keys, you can also do it in the same section. More and sound on press. You can turn this off and it won't do that either. But now when I type, it actually shows me what key I'm pressing to make sure I'm not hitting the wrong key. So those are just a few more hidden features on this LG Aristo 2. Really awesome, fun phone. I've heard nothing but good feedback from it. And um, leave me your comments, guys. What do you think about it? Did you know all these hidden features or did you learn one that was new? And are you thinking about picking one up? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, take care and have a good one.